All right, here's a little tip I want to show you on uh, groups, on node groups. Okay, I've got two materials here, and um, let's just get rid of that material. And let's get rid of that material. All right, um, so let's say you got a floor here, and I've got this set up for the floor. Okay, I don't have nothing on the cube. Go back to the floor. I got this set up. Um, if I want to go to the cube and I want to choose the floor also um, but what I want to make some changes I want to make this a single user group so I hit single user group but it's still using the group from the floor in other words this group is just one group so even though I made this a single user and let's let's rename this um, cube two. Okay, that's cube two, and, and here's the floor. They're the same materials, but if I uh, if I if I want to change the cube, let's say I want to take this out, for example. Okay, but then when I go back to the floor, look, this is supposed to be a single user, and it's not. It's it's actually using reusing the group so what you gotta do is um, okay let me get this back the way it was uh, all right you okay um, get this back the way it was okay now it's the same even though these are single user groups Okay, say the cube I want to be different. I've either got to ungroup this by Alt G and then alter the uh, the nodes, or I got to go up here and I've got to uh, I've got to create another group. So now I can delete this node, and now Group O2 is just for the the uh, cube. And I click the floor, and you see it's uh, it's a different group. So that threw me for a little loop there. If you're if you're working with groups and you make a single user material, if you don't change the uh, group to a single user, also you'll be scratching your head wondering why why am I changing it on this material, and then I come over here to this material, and it's also changed when I didn't want it to be. So a little tip there uh, on groups and nodes.